Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How have you guys been? Interact with me in the comment section. Let me know how you guys are. And so, guys, today I'm here with Merit, and I'm glad to be here. All right, and so, guys, today we'll be reacting to 11 biggest miracles performed by Prophet Muhammad. Okay, so let's get right into it, shall we? Yeah. 11. Mind-blowing miracles performed by Prophet Muhammad wasallam. you have never heard of. Okay. Number 1. Invisibility When the Prophet wasallam planned to migrate to Medina, the tribes in Mecca conspired to assassinate him once and for all. Each tribe sent an assassin and they surrounded the house of the Prophet that night. But the Prophet walked out right in front of them and none of them saw him. Hmm. They were blinded to him. Number 2. Wow. The Camel in the Sand Incident The Prophet وسلم, and Abu Bakr were on their way to Medina when they were followed by an assassin named Suraka. When Abu Bakr got worried, the messenger told him, Don't be sad, Allah is certainly with us. Then he cast a glance at Suraka and his horse feet became stuck in the sand. Suraka managed to get the feet of the horse, but when he tried to follow the Prophet وسلم, his horse legs got stuck again and smoke was coming from the sand. Suraka realized this was beyond him and had to go back. Number 3. Talking with the Jinn In one narration, a Jinn called Hama came in the form of an old man carrying a staff. He accepted Islam. The noble messenger instructed him in some of the short chapters of the Quran, which he listened to and then departed. Number 4. Water flowed from his blessed hands. Once the Prophet was with his companions, about 300 of them, in a place called Zara. It was time to observe the afternoon prayer, but the people could not find any water to make wudu. The Prophet ordered them to look for little water. When they did, he dipped his hands into it and water was flowing from his hands like a fountain. All 300 people who were there made voodoo and used it for other needs. Wow. Number 5. The Night Journey, Isra and Ascension, Mirage This is one of the most amazing miracles of the Prophet It is called Al-Isra wal Mi'raj. It was the night that the Prophet وسلم, under the guidance of Angel Jibreel traveled from the Kaaba in Mecca to Masjid al-Aqsa in Jerusalem and then to the sky, to the high realms and to the presence of Allah the Almighty. On this journey, he met the Prophets before him including Musa, Isa and Ibrahim. He led them in prayer. He reached a very high place where he could hear the pens writing people's deeds. He saw heaven and hell and he وسلم, was elevated and he met his Lord the Magnificent and the Merciful. This incident is narrated in the Holy Quran and Hadith. Number 6. The Moon Split the polytheists at the time of the Prophet وسلم, keep insisting that they wanted a miracle. They said they will believe if the Prophet وسلم, could show them the splitting of the moon in half. When Allah granted the Prophet the ability, he called them all to witness and the moon split into two. And indeed it was a clear manifestation, but in their arrogance they still rejected the truth. This incident is also narrated in the Holy Quran. Number 7. The lifeless objects and animals communicated with the Prophet. On several occasions, trees, stones, mountains and sand would greet the Prophet when he passed. Once a Jew roasted a goat, filling it with a very strong poison. She then sent it to God's messenger. But before the Prophet touched the food, the goat spoke to him and informed him of the poison. So he told everyone to abstain from the food. Number 8. The dead affirmed the prophethood of Muhammad In one narration, one of the companions of the Prophet suddenly dropped down dead in the marketplace. The people took his body to his house. That evening, between sunset and the night prayer, while the women were weeping all around him, the corpse exclaimed, Silence! 
Silence! Then he said, Muhammad is God's messenger. Peace be upon you, O messenger of God. He spoke so eloquently for a while that the people had to uncover him to check, but he was really dead. Wow. Number 9. Food Galore The Messenger of Allah fed more than a hundred people with a very small food. Whenever he placed his blessed hands on any food, he caused it to increase and everyone could eat to their fill and still have leftover. In one narration, he fed more than a hundred men from one cup of milk. Each person would drink to his fill and pass to the next without refilling. And each of the men drank to their satisfaction. And the cup was still filled with milk, as though it was never touched. Number 10. The Prophet Could Heal the Sick In one narration, one of the companions was hit by an arrow in his eye. The arrow was so deep it was sticking out at the back of his head. The messenger placed his hands over the eye and it healed. Number 11. The greatest miracle of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is the Quran. May Allah help us to follow the Sunnah of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Ameen. Okay. Wow. I don't think I've heard of any of them except the Quran. Me too. I I feel like um, I think I wish the Quran is in English. You see, because I would have been able to go in there and yeah. you know do yeah. our research, read about Muhammad. Because I feel it's more than what we are hearing. You see, sure. he we are, I've heard so many things about Prophet Muhammad, and I well both his good deed and, and bad deed which i feel like no one is sent because blood flows through our veins so i'm not expecting anyone yeah. to be 100 percent perfect even our people people we call our mentor they have their own hidden you know skeleton so i'm mm -hmm. not expecting anyone to be perfect but with this i feel god worked in mysterious way and um I think he made one mention of things talking to him like the sun the sun and the, the yeah even the dead goats that spoke i to feel him. if you're a messenger of god or you have a purpose i think god can communicate with you in several ways mm -hmm. which in in the bible i think moses had that encounter was it moses yeah moses with when the, the burning bush. bush i felt i felt like yes God have a way of if He really wants you to get a message, it either come maybe through dream, through revelation, or well, I know that method is not really as common as it was before because Moses' time it was then the warning bush, and now we are seeing sand and all. So I feel like I'm not doubting any any one of it. I feel He's a messenger of God, and well, truly He came from God because yeah. if not, I think His message would have faded away. True, but since it has remained for centuries i feel like it's indeed a, an important message that we should all listen to and based on what is in the bible you know when god told um, abraham that he will make a great nation out of his descendants so and through the lineage of abraham um, ishmael came and muhammad i mean islamic belief came in so i feel like yes it's still accepted by god and if you check it he made mention of heaven and hell, which yeah. is the same thing with Christian. We also mm -hmm. believe that heaven and hell is real. So I feel it's just few parts that we are not agreeing with each other. Yeah, that is, that's we right. believe in that, okay, believing in the Trinity, and the you know the Muslim don't believe in the Trinity. Me, mm -hmm. I feel like apart from that, we are all the same. Yeah, because they they believe in Jesus and. We also, you know, believe that Muhammad or believe in Islamic belief based on the story of Abraham and yeah. his descendants. So anyway, I am not doubting any part, any one of these miracles because I have heard of other people performing, you know, miracles in the Bible. I think Paul, Paul was beaten by a snake and he took the snake and threw it in the fire without even seeking for any medical help and he was fine because people were waiting for him to fall down dead but he did not he was just there and that was it, it so I, I felt like if if god called you and you are not done fulfilling his message he won't let anything happen to you no matter how hard they try no matter how hard 
you know people try mm -hmm. so long as he wants you to deliver something or be here for a reason he's going to make sure he find a way to protect you so that's it yeah so i think it's just to learn more about the islamic religion yeah. more in depth about the quran and all that yeah so guys let us know what you think about this video in the comment section kind of like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video as many times as you can and we'll see you guys again in my next video bye, -bye.